Okay, well, we've all got these fancy switches and things for the uh, simulator for Microsoft uh, Simulator 2020. And uh, I still found I had to uh, set up my customised views and hotkeys. I'm sure everybody's had to do that. Uh, but the great new tool that I've got is this uh, Stream Deck. And it's basically a high-resolution screen here with... Uh, some clear buttons in front of it so you can use the app that's up on the screen here and you can set up different uh, different profiles for your different aircraft um, and change them around change set up a, a group of buttons for each one to do customized views or functions basically anything you have as a as a hot key and also have uh, set up here on the stream deck that I can go in and choose any of the uh, any of the aircraft I normally fly, so the TB930, I can go back and select the, you know, the Cessnas, I'm setting, still setting that one up, and the C500, which is what I'm uh, flying at the moment. So I'll give you a bit of a look at uh, what it does. Okay, so basically as I, I've got these top buttons set up for pilot uh, view, so that's the normal pilot view that I use all the time. There's a program view. I might just turn on uh, the avionics so that I get a view of what I've got here. Uh, you can set up the autopilot view there. Uh, I set that up like that in, in the C500 because, you know, it bounces up and down or it was at least on uh, the previous version. It seems to be fixed now. Uh, but you can set the autopilot there, auto throttle, all that sort of stuff. Um, one, the next one's for the throttle, uh, and there's one for the uh, ceiling. So all the lights there, and I have a button here for the ice light. So you can see I can turn on the wing ice light. I've got a custom view set up outside uh, for a wing view, so I can check if there's ice. I have the pilot's uh, little display there for programming things. I have one on the uh, the lower portion of the center console so I can set up for the APU uh, a display for the power controls and I have these two here for the auto throttle on and auto throttle off uh, so it it has made the uh, experience of uh, flying the simulator just so much more enjoyable because uh, I can just swap from view to view by pressing one of these buttons and uh, these uh, also these switches so you can set anything up you like we need a hotkey and you use the software to load them in and it's quite simple get yourselves one it's really worth it this is the stream deck there's a mini version I think that might have six I'm not exactly sure of the number of buttons this the stream deck standard that's 15 buttons and I think there's 32 on the big one but uh, in reality, uh, with all the different profiles you can set, uh, it's uh, it's quite um, expandable even with only 15 buttons readily available there at the touch. Go get yourselves one.